Hello and welcome to Senior Centers in Action. I'm Carla Schaefer. A very wintry February caused the cancellation of many Senior Activity Center events, but the show must go on. February was Black History Month and the Pascal Senior Activity Center closed out the month with a very special performance by living historian Vince Leggett, who brought the life and times of slave Charles Ball to the stage. We spoke with Mr. Leggett prior to his performance. We're here at the Pascal Senior Activity Center today and with me is Vince Leggett. Welcome to Senior Centers in Action, Vince. Well, I'm glad to be here and glad to be able to share this character with our audience today. I'll be portraying Charles Ball. Uh, Charles Ball was born in 1790 on the Southern Maryland in Calvert County. And what I'm going to do is uh, portray his life. Uh, he actually wrote an autobiography called 50 Years in Chains, The Life and Times of Charles Ball. And I'll be sharing parts of his life with the audience today and with a particular feature on the War of 1812 and his role in the battle at Bladensburg and his defense at Fort McHenry. And without giving too much away from your performance, can you tell us a little bit about him? Well, Charles Ball was uh, born in 1790 in Leonardtown in Calvert County, and Calvert County is nestled in between the Patuxent and the Potomac River. So he uh, lived with his parents, but at an early age, he got separated from his mom at about eight or nine years old. And, and according to his writings, that was a pretty horrific experience from him being torn from his mom and separated from his brothers and sisters. But then he worked as a waterman on the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, he was uh, captured by uh, slave traders and sold to South Carolina and he managed to work his way back to Calvert County. Uh, he lived in the county for a while and then knows he was stolen again uh, back south, this time to Georgia, and worked his way back up. So it's just a remarkable character. Uh, to, in the day's movie theaters, there's a popular movie called 12 Years a Slave, mm -hmm. featuring Solomon Northup. Well, here's our guy, Charles Ball, 50 years in chains, and I try to make that character come alive. That's, it's obviously a very interesting story. How did you find out about Mr. Ball and become interested in him? My primary work for the last 30 years has been through an organization called Blacks of the Chesapeake. And for 30 years, we have been documenting the contributions that African Americans have made to the maritime and seafood industry throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. We featured boat builders and sail makers and crab pickers and oyster shuckers, but we also looked at the role that African Americans had played in the military. And it was about 30 years ago, or 25 years ago, that I came across this phenomenal story about Charles Ball, who was a waterman who enlisted in Commodore Joshua Barney's Chesapeake Flotilla to defend the United States against the British in the War of 1812. And so he was just such a fascinating character. Uh, he's been my hero and role model. So really it covers all the bases that you were studying, working the water and being involved in the military. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and it turns out that uh, during the War of 1812 that the British were offering opportunities for freedom for slaves who left their plantations and actually joined the British. Some of them ended up in Bermuda, uh, Trinidad, Tobago, even Nova Scotia. But Charles Ball felt that his four parents' blood, sweat, and tears were in the Americas. Mm -hmm. And even though he was a slave, he took his chance with the Americans. So I guess there's a lot of tension and dialogue even among the slaves at that time, should they go with the British or stick with the Americans. And so uh, that's part of the storyline. Well, and it's something that we just celebrated a couple of years ago too, the anniversary of the War of 1812. So it's definitely something that's timely and it's we're wrapping up Black History Month here as well. So it, it kind of brings it all together. Now, how did you, I know that you do other characters as well. You portray other characters? I portrayed uh, Frederick Douglass. I portrayed a waterman, uh, Earl White, who was born in Dames Quarter on the Lower Eastern Shore. So I just have a love of history. I've even portrayed uh, Harriet Tubman before. And how did you become a living historian? I just think that uh, I just love people. I love storytelling. I love the art of storytelling. And uh, so it just is a passion that I have as part of the uh, oral tradition in the African-American community, storytelling. And so I just like interacting with audiences. And I would say I probably get 
I do get more pleasure out of the question and answer period as I do of the presentation. Mm -hmm. So I can't really wait to get to that part. Well, thank you so much, Vince. For, can't wait to see your performance today. Thank you. We want to thank Mr. Leggett for bringing this important piece of history to life for our Senior Activity Center members. Well, as spring approaches, we think of seeing the first robin, warmer weather, and the flowers blooming, and April also brings us Tax Day. Did you know that the Senior Activity Centers offer a volunteer income tax assistance program? Well, the program is sponsored by the IRS and the Retired Senior Volunteer Program, or RSVP, in conjunction with the Senior Activity Centers. VITA operates during income tax preparation season from January until April at all of the county's senior activity centers to help seniors with their personal, uncomplicated tax returns. We visited the VITA volunteers at the South County Senior Activity Center to find out more about the program. Well, we're here at the South County Senior Activity Center today with Ruth Sanborn. She's a volunteer for the VITA program, and that's Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. Welcome to Senior Centers in Action, Ruth. Thank you. Now, Ruth, can you start us off by telling us how long you've been volunteering for the program? I've been volunteering for the VITA program since 1993. So that's, this is your 21st year then? Yes. But you have a background in income tax preparation that extends beyond this. Yes, I've been doing taxes since 1975. Wow. Working so. for several firms. My husband was in the Air Force and I did them several different places and then we moved here and he retired and I came to work for the uh, volunteer program. Now tell us a little bit about the VITA program. What kind of clients do you typically have? You, you serve seniors? We do, we do mostly seniors, mm -hmm. but we do a lot of family members of theirs also. And um, some middle-aged people. And it's simple income tax returns? Yes, mostly. some of them are, yes. Okay. And how many people have you served at the Senior Center this year, would you say? How many clients do you have? Well, this year, we've done several hundred already this year, but we end up doing somewhere over 500 returns every year. Wow. Plus, we do their property taxes for them, their renter's tax credits and their property tax credits for them. So it's 500 at this center alone, and there's seven senior activity centers throughout the county. So really, the program overall helps a large number of people then. Yes. And how many people do you have? Are you kind of the head of the program here at South County? I guess I'm the team coordinator mm -hmm. here for the program, but we have 11 uh, people that volunteer. So it's a team that works on the whole thing that gets the whole job done for everybody. And how many people at South County? I think there's about 11 of us. Okay, and, and I know in talking to the people here that you're here until close working very hard every day on these taxes. We work all day long every day, yes. And what do you like most about volunteering for the program? Well, I love working with the people that I've helped for so many years. Um, they are like, they're true friends to me and they're part of my family and I know all about them and their kids and their animals, their grandkids, their health problems. I, when they come to our desk, we usually know a lot about them. So you have a lot of repeat clients from year to year. Oh yes, some of them we've been doing 21 years. When I first started here, they were all done by pencil. Mm. And now we've brought it into on computers. Electronically. Mm -hmm. So if there's someone out there who's interested in the VITA program but would like to obtain more information, who should they call and how can they get that information? They can contact any of the senior centers. Um, South County, our number here is 410-222-1927. But there's also Annapolis, Pascal, uh, Brooklyn Park, and Odenton. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much for sharing, Ruth, and we'll let you get back to work. I know you're busy and you have a lot of uh, returns to prepare, but thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and for really helping the seniors in Anne Arundel County. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we talked to Ruthie, who's a 21-year veteran with VITA, and now we have Ashton. Ashton Poole, it's your first year volunteering for the VITA program. I'm a newbie. You're a newbie. So how's it going so far? It's great. It's very rewarding, and I enjoy the group here that I'm working with. And how did you become interested in volunteering for VITA? Um, I saw a, an ad in the newspaper and um, applied for it and um, went through training, and here I am. And you chose South County. <laughs> yeah, um, my wife has some uh, contacts here, and so I knew the facility. Um, and there's, 
any of the nine centers in Anne Arundel County you can volunteer for. And originally I thought that I'd just float around from one to the other, but I like it here so much I'd rather stay. And I understand that you're a volunteer with other programs for the county as well? Yes, the uh, representative payee program, which is through Department of Social Services, and I do volunteer work with the Red Cross. So what do you like best about um, volunteering for VITA? Uh, it's a limited schedule because it'll end in April, um, and then the weather will turn and I'll have other outdoor activities, so the timing's great. And you have a background as a banker, I understand it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, really used to working with numbers. You're used to working with numbers, but you've never really done this level of tax preparation? Or no, it's been a lot to learn, and, and with Ruthie and her team, um, they're a resource. That every time I run into a question, I can ask them. It's very helpful. And I asked Ruthie a question about uh, prospective VITA clients, but what about prospective VITA volunteers? How would you encourage people to volunteer for the program who might be a little unsure if they kind of fit the bill? Yeah, um, I, th I think basically anyone that likes working with numbers, um, the program has a lot of structure, uh, the training's very thorough, um, so it's not difficult to do. Um, and if you like the feeling of helping people, um, VITA would be a good, good match. Well, Ashton, thanks so much for taking the yeah, time to talk to, to us, it. and thank you for your service to the county. Yeah, and to I our appreciate seniors. it. Thank you. Okay. I'm here with Frank Zamparty. Frank is a second year volunteer for yes. the VITA program. And Frank, I understand that you have some of the more complex cases here at South County. Yeah, we've had some uh, different ones come through. Uh, last year we had uh, one where, as I was, the woman came in and said, uh, could we do this a little fast? And I asked why and she said, well, I was at the doctor earlier and I, I'm in labor. And so it was a quick return. So she stopped here to see you on her way to Anne Arundel? Well, she, had, <laughs> she had been at the hospital. They told her she was gonna give birth at any moment. So she decided to get her tax return done before. Mm -hmm. Came in, uh, I said I do the return, but that's all I deliver. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, we got her out. And, you know, but there, there are others that come through and um, some sad, some not, mm -hmm. that uh, we uh, handle through the program here. And they know that you're the man that, to handle it. I don't know if they know when they mm -hmm. sign up, but uh, it ends up that I do end up uh, handling them. And how did you become a volunteer with the VITA program? Well, I retired and uh, I was a CPA and a CFO of large corporations and uh, decided to give back something to the uh, community. Well, thank you so much for your service. What is your favorite part about being a VITA volunteer? Uh, the smiles on the people's faces to see uh, that they're done. Uh, you know, we, we've had a number of uh, people who've come in who prior years have went to CPA firms or uh, some of the other large uh, tax return preparers and they have gotten charged quite a bit of money sure. for their return and to find out that uh, we offer this service at free of charge for them and, they, uh, and they're very satisfied with what they get and uh, return, you know, and, and the gratification of helping someone who um, is able to, um, you know, save that money, uh, I feel very good about that. Well, thank you so much for being a volunteer and for sharing your story with us today. Okay. Quite a story. <laughs> All right. We want to thank our volunteers at all of the senior activity centers who help with tax preparations. And if you'd like to find out more about the VITA program in your area, contact your local senior activity center. Well, that's our show for this month. We'll be back in April with a look at some of the March Senior Activity Center events, including a visit to some Mardi Gras and St. Patrick's Day parties, weather permitting. 
Now, March could still bring us more snow. So remember, if the county government office is closed, senior activity centers will also be closed. If schools are closed, all senior activity center activities will be canceled, including lunch and van transportation. If schools open late, centers will open late as well. And you can find out more information about our inclement weather policy at www.aacounty.org slash aging. For Senior Centers in Action, I'm Carla Schaefer, and we'll see you next month.